Hi, guys. We have Daniel Cleland, accomplished author. Dan, how are you doing, my friend? Very well, sir. Thank you very much, Ken, for having me on. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be here, happy to speak with you and connect with your audience. Oh, that's great. And, and just so the listeners know, like Dan is our first international guest. And like I mentioned before in a few previous episodes, but I was like, oh, wow, we have U.S. people coming on the show. Now we have someone literally uh, in a nice warm area right now because it's starting to get cold here in Canada. I think we're now starting to get in the fall season. But uh, I mean, where are you right now, Dan? Just so the listeners can be jealous when they hear where you're from right now. Uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> actually, I, I, I was born and raised in Canada. I grew up in Walkerton, Ontario, uh, went to college in London, Ontario, lived in Calgary, lived in Vancouver, lived in Victoria, uh, worked on the ocean out in the West Coast for, uh, for a year, um, and uh, also lived in Kelowna. But now, for the past five years, I've been living in Costa Rica, which is where I am right now. I also spent... Uh, I've spent actually the better part of the last 15 years in Latin America. I lived, uh, I, I've been, like I said, I've been here in Costa Rica for five years. Before that, I lived in Peru for, uh, for about four years, running, uh, running a healing center there in the Amazon jungle. Um, and uh, before that, I lived in Brazil. I also uh, worked as a, as a tour guide working all over Latin America, from Costa Rica, Panama, Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, Brazil, Argentina. Um, so as we say here in Costa Rica, you know, I may be Canadian, but ya uh, soy más tico que gallo pinto, which means uh, I'm already, I'm more Costa Rican than gallo pinto, which is their favorite dish here, their, their oh. typical kind of classic <laughs> dish here. So rice and beans. Rice and beans. There you go. And you know, so you can hear where all all the places he's been. So Dan's only just a little bit. He's only been. He's only seen the world just a little bit, right? Compared to most, most people, most of <laughs> the Americas. Uh, I haven't done a, a ton around like Asia or Af I haven't been to Africa at all. I've been to Europe uh, a, a a little bit. Um, you know, maybe six or eight countries in Europe. Uh, maybe, maybe two countries in Asia. I think Thailand and Japan. But I really love the Americas. I love. Uh, I love the U.S. I love. Mexico, I love, you know, any anything from like Costa Rica south. Um, so you know, I've I've just I've made a point to really kind of make the Americas my backyard. Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, and the funny thing is, I'll, I'll just make this a little bit myself here. But um, before I met my wife, Mrs. K, for the first twenty four years of my life, I've only been to three countries: Canada. Obviously, I was born in Canada. When I would play hockey in the U.S. for like those tournaments. And the one time I went to the Philippines in 1986. So up until when I was 24 years old, those are the only places I've ever been. Now, my wife, she was born in Hong Kong, and now we've been to a lot of different places. So I appreciate those who've been all over. Like, like and then you went all over the place. Like you said, you haven't touched those other areas. But to me, it's like, well, that's just a matter of time before you visit Africa and other parts of Asia as well, right? Especially, you might have to do like your book tour where you're touring around the world, my friend, because... Yeah. You know, you, you, you're a couple, you wrote a couple of books already. I know we're going to talk about that. So, you know, let's, let's start with that. So Dan Cleland, author, what's your story? Well, um, you, you mean the, the book story or, or kind of, uh, what, what kind of got me to this point? I keep it open on purpose so people can go in whatever direction they want to go with that one, especially for, especially how their company was developed and stuff like that. So we'll start with the developing your company. Let's start with that. Sure. Okay. Sure. Great. Um, and happy to, uh, yeah, happy to speak with a fellow Canadian. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I grew up, uh, I grew up in Walkerton, Ontario, uh, very fairly typical, uh, upbringing in, uh, in rural, rural Canada. Um, you know, like I said, I just, I went to London when I was 18, did some college there. Um, not particularly, uh, stellar in terms of uh, grades in either high school or college. Not so much because I was dumb, but because I I, I was unmotivated, I guess, and, and and more concerned about kind of partying than uh, than uh, doing well in school. Um, but that basically left me uh, with few career options when I got out of college at kind of twenty three. So I got into sales work. And just, uh, 
you know, kind of uh, went uh, went uh, into the sales industry and moved up the ladder in sales. Got to a point around 25 where um, I was just utterly unenthused with with typical, you know, like you kind of when you're go when you're growing up, everything's fun and everybody around you is like concerned about partying and having fun and going out and beating girls and stuff like that. Uh, but then around 25, you know, people start dropping off. They start getting married. They start getting careers. They start getting older. They start getting boring. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> at about that point, I found um, I found myself wanting to continue the adventure. So that's when I started traveling. I uh, I made a trip to Brazil when I was 25. Um, it was a very like very much uh, independent thing. I was living in Calgary at the time, working a sales job, an industrial sales job, and uh, I went down to Brazil. I I bought a big map. I I learned about the country. I uh, learned a little bit of Portuguese, and um, planned a journey down there for six weeks. It was uh, it was super exciting. I went down there. Went started in Rio and then went down down south down through Parachi and uh, Ilha Grande and then down to Florianopolis and uh, and then back to Rio and ended up spending the last few weeks like working in a rooftop patio bar making caipirinhas and partying until four or five in the morning every night meeting a different girl every week and um, and uh, having just the best time of my life and then I go back to Canada to Calgary in the middle of January and it's like freezing and um go back to the sales job and i'm like yeah this is this is not going to cut it for me anymore so um i ended up kind of shifting gears and and went down uh to work as a tour leader for a canadian company actually g adventures based in toronto but they kind of specialize in the, in the latin american uh, market and, and all over the world um so i go down to uh to work as a tour leader <clears throat> traveling through all those aforementioned countries, um, just kind of getting all this experience and in, in tourism, learning the languages and things like that. Um, and, uh, and then, 